When the conflict in Darfur, Sudan erupted in 2003, more than two million people fled their villages to escape the violence. They found a measure of safety in camps for displaced people, but years later, armed bandits and militias still roam the countryside. It is unsafe to return home, and dangerous even to leave the camps to collect fuel for cooking. The women and girls who must venture out to gather firewood face serious risk of assault. As deforestation occurs, their treks become longer and more dangerous. Purchasing fuel is an option for some, but it is hard to earn an income in the camps of Darfur. Reducing the vulnerability of women and girls is a key Oxfam priority. We are working with local partners to distribute fuel-efficient gas stoves, plant trees in and around the camps, and support grassroots peace-building efforts. But lives depend on our doing more, such as helping those who still rely on firewood minimize their fuel needs. In 2009, engineer Scott Sadler traveled from Berkeley, California to Darfur, Sudan, to set up a workshop to build thousands of fuel-efficient stoves for distribution to rural areas of Darfur. The project is a partnership between Oxfam, the Sudan-based Sustainable Action Group, and Sadlin's Group, the U.S.-based Darfur Stoves Project. It involves a stove designed at the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, known as the Berkeley Darfur Stove. The Berkeley Darfur stove is about 75% more efficient than a traditional stove used by families in Darfur. The stove is not only more efficient, but it's designed specifically for the Darfur environment. One of the considerations was the high winds that often roll through the Darfur plains. The important part of the project for us is that we continually refine the design as we get feedback from our users. Moving forward, we'll refine that design even more. When I arrived in El Fasher, a large town in the North Darfur region, I came to one of Oxfam's local partners, which had an empty workshop waiting for me. With this local partner, I set up a workshop for the Berkeley Darfur stove, including setting up the tools and training employees, making sure that the quality of the stoves uh, was up to par. We trained and employed 12 to 15 local workers from a camp for displaced people. This is a nice uh, secondary benefit. The project is also providing some employment for local uh, people who are affected by the crisis. The workshop right now is producing about 75 stoves per day. And this means it's about 1,500 stoves per month. I'm really encouraged to think that a year from now, when I'm doing something else in the United States, I'll, I'll still know that the friends that I made and, and worked so closely with in Darfur are still producing these stoves. We have an immediate use for 9,000 stoves in surrounding areas, hopefully with, with thousands more to come. I just hope that we can get these stoves to all the families who need them.